Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. And as you probably know, this week Apple has released two betas for iOS 18. So we have the sixth beta of iOS 18.0 and we also have the second beta of iOS 18.1. Now what's really cool with these two updates is that now we have caught up with iOS 16, with iOS 18.0, in fact, with iOS 18.1, and all the features that are on the betas of iOS 18 now are available also on iOS 18.1. And of course, we also have the extra AI features, which are really, really cool. So in this video, we're going to talk about these two updates. We have some amazing changes. And of course, we're going to talk about the release dates for the next betas. So, as I said, we had two releases on the same day, beta 2 for 18.1 and beta 6 for iOS 18.0. I don't expect that to happen next week as well, but we're going to talk about that in a minute here. First of all, let's take a look at some really cool new features and changes that Apple has added to iOS 18 with these two releases. First of all, we're heading to the control center. Now we have a few more controls here for the camera. So under capture here, we can now enable the magnifier or we can scan a code and it used to be only the camera button. That's actually really awesome. We have another toggle here, a new one for the Bluetooth, even though it doesn't work as we expected. It won't turn off the Bluetooth completely. It will basically do the same job as this switch right here does. It will just disable the Bluetooth connection while still keeping the Bluetooth turned on. I don't know why Apple does that. If they had this button with the ability to completely turn off the Bluetooth connection, that would be way, way better. Now, in my opinion, the best feature that we got with these two new betas is on the home screen. This is a great feature, and this is actually how it should have been from the beginning. You can see if I switch to another wallpaper here, I will have a different tint of icons. Now, that is a new feature with iOS 18 beta 6 and 18.1 beta 2. Now, when you change the tint of your icons from going here under the customization menu, you know that once you tap on tint here, it will automatically adjust the tint based on the wallpaper that you have. And now that tint is actually attached to your wallpaper. So if I switch to another wallpaper, it will have a different tint. It won't have the exact same tint that I had in this wallpaper. Previously, if I would tint my icons, in this case with this red color, and I switch to the next wallpaper, they would stay like that. Now that has been fixed, and this is a great feature to have. There are a few changes here on the Photos app as well. You will notice that the search and the select button have now swapped places, so you will have the search on the left side, while on the other side, on the right one, you will have the select button. Here we have another pretty cool change here on the Photos app. When you're on a video and you're using the scrubber here, now you will see the time here. So the timestamp, you will have the one on the left here and the one on the right. This shows right here the length of the video, while this one will show you at which second or minute of the video you're scrubbing to. So that's actually pretty useful. A really nice change here on the settings app, when you go to your settings and you go under your iCloud, you will now notice that the icons under the iCloud settings are actually on the dark mode. Now, of course, when you're using the dark mode icons, that's pretty cool because before, even if you have been on the dark mode, they would still show the light mode for the icons. And we have a few other updates here. If we go under general, we have some icons that actually have been refreshed here. The one for autofill and passwords has been changed. We have a new one here for background app refresh. The dictionary one has also been updated as well as legal and regulatory has also been updated. So four different icons on the general settings. And going under accessibility, when you go to motion and you will have here vehicle motion, when you go ahead and turn this on, you will have this new pop-up right there at the top, which looks pretty cool. So of course you will have here the automatic on and off switches. And also a smaller change here, it's actually pretty hard to notice, but the home bar has actually been placed a bit lower on the screen and it's actually even thinner. We also have a few different splash screens that Apple has added to a few different apps, stock apps of iOS. So we have this one 
for the translate app we have this one for the notes and this one for the photos app there are a few others some people are all seeing them on the podcast and music app and the home app as well and now let's talk about some features that are actually exclusive to iOS 18.1, of course, with the Apple intelligence features. First of all, if we take a look at Siri here, if you have used this before, you will notice that the whole animation here on the screen is actually a bit different. It looks actually pretty cool. It like vibes more like it has like more pulse around the screen and it looks, in my opinion, much, much better. And when you go to settings and you go under Apple intelligence and Siri, you will have here now a section to talk and type to Siri. If you go here, you can choose which words you want to use there. And then of course you can press the side button for Siri can enable or disable that. And finally you will have the option here to enable or disable typing to Siri, which is pretty cool. Now this used to be under the accessibility settings. And it actually was quite hard to find. Now you will find all the options you need under Apple intelligence and Siri. Now what's really cool with the Apple intelligence on 18.1 is that emails now can be summarized even though they might not be in English. So you get an email on another language, it will automatically be translated and also summarized in English. And also Siri works much, much faster with the second beta of iOS 18.1. Even though we don't have the new version of Siri, it works pretty fast. How's the weather in New York City? Should I take, should I take an umbrella? New York City. I don't believe it's raining right now in the of New York. It's actually quite fast. You will notice a difference here if you're using Siri with iOS 18.1 beta 1 and beta 2, of course, as it should be. We're wait waiting always for improvements as this is quite a big update and Apple has quite a lot of work to do. But of course, it should improve with the betas because it has been two weeks since beta 1. Not talking about new betas, we can expect the seventh beta of iOS 18.0 next week i think the 19th of august or even maybe the 20th should be the dates that apple releases the new beta 7 for ios 18 and then the third beta of 18.1 most likely it will be right here on august 26th i don't expect apple to move to a weekly schedule when it comes to releasing 18.1 betas this early they should probably release it on the 26th so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one